There's no such thing as a perfect game, and Minecraft is no exception. I think we can all agree on that. But then there are those things in Minecraft that I just find particularly annoying. For example, creepers and skeletons and baby zombies. And while those are not going to be some of the things I'm mentioning outside of this part of the video, I will be mentioning 20 things that annoy me personally in Minecraft. Note, if you don't agree with me, please don't go flaming me in the comments. But anyways, let's get on with the video. You can't emulate older versions on iOS. I know this isn't entirely Mojang's fault, but it still bothers me. I know we have 16 colors of wool, clay, stained glass, and who knows what else. But where's colors like neon or beige or heck, even the color changing wool we're supposed to be able to get from the Jeb sheep? Like, come on, where is that? Those commands that feel like you have to memorize an entire novel word by word. Added crossbows into Minecraft. Congrats, Mojang. You're one step closer to officially adding guns into what should be a kid-friendly game. Uh, so sorry, guys. That's Fortnite's mistake, and I'm treating Mojang a bit like Epic Games. Sorry. I'm interested in content by YouTubers like Ant Venom, but I doubt I'll ever understand it. How did Creepers become the most iconic mob in the game if they are so hated? Am I the only one bothered by how quickly lava can kill you? When you're in water with a bunch of skeletons, it- take it from me, it's not fun. When you finish a big build, and it gets blown up by a creeper not even five seconds later. I don't know if it's just me, but online play never seems to work anywhere but a big server. Skins from a fully custom skin creator like Skindex may work on mobile and PC, but if you're a console player, forget it, because not even on the new console edition will they work. After 10 years of Minecraft, more than 10 years, why are there still no circles? Anyone remember the times where channels like DanTDM and popular MMOs would still make Minecraft mod reviews? Because if you remember that, you deserve a veteran's discount, no joke. Channels like Game Theory make some really good content, but it also makes me read into Minecraft logic way more than a healthy amount. Does anyone else feel this way? They added bees into Minecraft. Oh no, here come the bee movie memes. I know a lot of effort is put into these texture packs, but they just hurt my head. Is anybody familiar with Minecraft Redstone Genius Mumbo Jumbo? I'm actually very envious of him. Because while sure, there are some things I understand about Minecraft that he doesn't, overall, he knows way more about redstone than I do. Wait, you actually can get custom skins on Minecraft console. Although, you have to do it through the official skin creator, which I will admit to not being a huge fan of. Probably the darkest age for Minecraft console players was when Mojang abandoned the original console edition entirely. Rest in peace, Minecraft console. You will be missed. I know Minecraft looks pixely and therefore sort of like a retro game, but I actually pity anybody who was confused by this. Because, I mean, come on. Does this actually look much like a retro game, aside from the fact that it is indeed pixely? I sure hope I never see another creeper again. Ah! Ah! <sighs> That's better. <sighs> That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Sir Mikey. Goodbye.